Hello everyone, and uh, thanks for being here, even if we are all probably tired. Uh, today we're going to talk about spreadsheets and more specifically about uh, functions and how to develop your own custom functions uh, if you want. First I'll do a quick introduction, then we'll first implement a very, very basic function just for you to see how it works and uh, uh, for the basics. Then we'll dive into the real stuff and uh, create a real useful function uh, that's reading data from the database. Uh, next, we'll talk briefly about the perf performance pitfalls and what you shouldn't do um, and what you should do. First, let's talk a bit about spreadsheets. It's actually a standalone library developed by us, uh, by, by my team, and written in TypeScript. So it's open source and the library is integrated uh, in Odoo. So actually, uh, the, the library is designed to be extendable and uh, customizable. Everything that's uh, specific to, to Odoo uh, is actually already custom customization from the point of view of the library inside Odoo. What we are building today, here is what we are developing. It's a new function that will uh, fetch the results of a survey. Just like, uh, you know, uh, uh, when with Google Forms, you all also have uh, all the results in a spreadsheet. That's the basic idea of what we'll do um, today. Yeah, all the code I'll show you is available on my GitHub account, so you don't need to take pictures or notes. Or First, let's uh, see how we add a very simple function. Uh, this one is called my add. It's just adding two numbers together. First thing, you need to... Um, declare all the arguments, just like that. Um, I'll show you when you declare the arguments, they will appear here. Here is the, the function I added. Then the real code comes in a compute function. That's what you want to, to implement. One thing is you want to do is to cast the user input because uh, the user can input anything in, in, the, in the function. So you want to, uh, to cast it to the real value. Here we want numbers, so you'll use the, the helper two numbers. There's also uh, similar things for Booleans. Um, and it's doing an interesting thing. So it's converting everything that looks like a number from the point of view of, of a spreadsheet. So if the user inputs the string 20%, it's actually a number. Uh, and it's, of course, uh, 0 0.2. And that's basically it. Then you don't, you don't want to forget to add it to the registry so and uh, to, to be taken into account by the spreadsheet. Um, that's it for a basic function. Um, yeah. Now let's implement and uh, start our sur Odoo survey function. You can see the skeleton looks uh, really similar. What we want to do is this thing. How do we want to fetch the data? For this, let me um, introduce you the basics of plugins. Um, plugins are a way to extend the library, the spreadsheet, in as three main things. First, it can have a private state. Uh, so, for example, in existing plugins, we have a plugin for borders, for cells, for conditional formats, for data, vali data validation. Every plugin is storing its own data. Next, it can introduce getters. So getters are public functions to make part of the state available to other plugins or to functions or as well to UI components, for example. So for our use case, our plugin will do basically two things. It will act as a proxy between the, the function and uh, the, data, the data source and the server. And it's only introducing one getter to get the results. So now we can complete our compute function. It just calls our getter uh, to get the results. Now let's uh, implement that getter. One thing very important is that uh, evaluation is synchronous. So you have to return data. You cannot um, uh, do a network call, wait for the results, then return the value. You have to return a value, anything, a number, or, um, or 
in our case, will uh, throw an error when the data is not loaded. Conveniently, we already have something handy that will help us to do that uh, easily. We have a helper class, server data, which is basically a wrapper around uh, an RPC to call a method here on a model. So this is uh, doing the network requests. If the data is not available, it will throw an error. So the, the you can, it will display uh, in the cell da data is loading. When the data is fetched, server data will notify us with a callback and then we'll use, um, we'll dispatch a command to trigger a new evaluation. At this point, the data is fetched, it's available. So this time, sir, this function call will return the actual results and um, it will work smoothly. Yeah, you want, is there an example to the how you can manage error? Let's say the data is not available because uh, maybe the survey does not exist or um, the user doesn't have access to, to the survey. We'll throw an error say, oops, saying, why is it gone? Okay, it's back again. Uh, saying, yeah, the survey is not available. Uh, this is the, the Python method that I implemented in the model. This is not what we are interested in uh, today, but um, here it is pretty simple. Normal rights, acce uh, access rights apply, of course, so different users might see different results and different uh, things. Uh, here it returns uh, 2D array. Yeah, I th something I uh, forgot to mention. A function can return an a value or a 2D array of values. In this case, the values will spread across multiple cells. This is what we're doing here. This is returning a 2D array. Uh, yeah, so let's, I'll show you it in action. This, so let's do survey. Let's say we want survey number one. Here are the results. Uh, if I reload, you'll see very quickly that first it was, you saw the, the, the cell loading, then it was uh, when the data comes, uh, it, will, it was uh, re-evaluated again. Uh, yeah. Some performance pitfalls and some things you want to, to watch out if you uh, implement functions. First thing you want to avoid is to do one network call per evaluation. You do not control when the functions is evaluated. Usually it's uh, re-evaluated when one of the functions dependency changed. But sometimes uh, for big changes in the spreadsheet, for example, if a column is added or removed, uh, it's actually faster to just evaluate everything again from scratch. So uh, watch out for this. If you're using the server data because you're reading from uh, Odoo database, uh, it's managed for you um, by the helper server data. Another thing you don't want to do is to do one network call per function. If you have in the spreadsheet two Odoo survey functions fetching two different f surveys, you don't want two uh, network calls. If you have only two, okay, maybe it's uh, enough, but for example, for um, accounting functions, you might have uh, thousands of functions. You don't want a thousand network call um, done on the server. It will uh, be extremely slow. So the thing you want to do is to batch the requests into only a single one. Conveniently, uh, our server data is also helping us there. Um, that's what I showed you before server data.get the thing you want to change it's really simple is just server data.batch.get and it's doing all the, the the work for you of aggregating every call and splitting the results again and caching everything and managing errors if you want uh, automatic ba uh, batching like this you have to respect an uh, interface the python method must have an input a list and output a list as well. So the list and inputs can be a list of IDs just like we do here. 
Um, so the input is self, or it could be uh, arbit any uh, arguments. In this case, you want to use api.model, so self is um, uh, ignored. Um, here you can see what we do is just wrapping the, the, the code we had before, just move to another method and uh, call it once for every, every survey in the, in the self parameter for every ID. One thing you want to avoid is uh, avoid exceptions or, or um, access right errors because it would make the entire batch fail. If uh, you are fetching two surveys and one of, uh, of them is not available or you don't have access to it, you don't want the other to, to, uh, to be um, in error as well. Oops. Um, of course, you can you do not need to fetch data on Odoo server. You can fetch the data anywhere you want. Uh, all the basic principles also apply. So um, uh, cache the results. You would need to implement it by uh, yourself, but it's quite easy to do. Uh, batch the request if you can. Maybe you do not control the API. The API so um, in this case, you cannot do it. Um, here, I implemented a very stupid function, which is uh, calling a very stupid API. It's just uh, the input is a word, and it's calling an API telling if the word ex exists in English or not. So we have a basic cache. This is our getter that our function calls. I did not show you the function, but I think uh, it's uh, easy enough. I don't need. If the cache, the word is not available in the cache, we fetch the result, then we return immediately a value. So if it's pending, we just throw an error saying, OK, it's, lo it's um, loading. Uh, we throw an error if there was an error when calling the API. And if it's loaded, we return the, the real value. Uh, let's check how the fetching work. Uh, pretty simple. Just fill the cache to, to say, OK, we are already do uh, doing the, the network call, so don't do it again. Um, we actually call the API, and then we fill the, fill the cache. If everything's fine, we fill the cache. OK, data is loaded. Don't forget to handle errors. Um, and finally, really important, because otherwise you won't see any change in the spreadsheets, you want to evaluate, to trigger a new evaluation to uh, get the data this, uh, this time. Um, that's basically it. You can do anything you want. I trust you can. Uh, uh, you are already able to, to do network requests and implement uh, whatever business logic you want in the uh, server side or as well in JavaScript side. Uh, that's it. If you have questions, uh, we can check the pads. Yes, uh, the, the question is, uh, does it work in any module, yes, it works in any module. A spreadsheet is uh, done in its own independent module, and it, you can install it uh, with any module. Uh, in this case, what I did is I implemented a bridge module, which depends on spreadsheet and survey, and this is where I put the, the function. Let's see if there are any other questions. OK, if there's no more questions, yeah. thanks. Uh, Thank you very much.